Alhamdulillah, we have a debate this Saturday on Daniel's channel. It's going to happen at 1 p.m. Shenzhen time. And this discussion about the Uyghur narrative, I have a narrative, he has a narrative, and we're going to go head to head. Now, I have not faced in the years of debating people who are so pathetic that I can simply lay out exactly what I'm going to do to them and do it and then tell them I've done it on their channel in front of their Wumao and fans and everybody and walk away with a smile. But that's precisely, inshallah, what I'm planning on doing. Now, you may think this is a bit harsh. It's not because I didn't ask to debate this individual. He wanted to invite me. In fact, he said something to the effect of tying a hand behind his back. Whatever that means. Um, so, you know, a liberal interpretation of that would mean he's going to allow me to say what I want and he's going to challenge it. Or maybe he's not going to use all the facts, use all his arguments. Well, it doesn't really matter. I don't want him to tie one hand behind his back. I rather he uses all of his cards, uses all of his arguments, uses all of his tactics and strategies and gets all of the advice that he can from the Wamao. <coughs> and, <coughs> and from, apologies, and from um, the headquarters the Chinese Communist Party headquarters, which is churning out these propaganda narratives. Okay, now because this opponent is so pathetic, I'm actually going to lay out exactly what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to tell him I've done it. So I'm going to come onto his channel, and I'm going to give a narrative, I'm going to give a philosophical argument. Alongside that, I'm going to give some historical and practical solutions. And once I've done that, I'm going to ask him directly to go head to head and attack like a Rockweiler, this argument. But the problem is, he's not Rockweiler, he's a toothless Chihuahua. And uh, I'm going to expose him there and then. And apart from that, actually, let me, let me bring in Sun Tzu. I'm feeling spiritual today. So I'm going to bring in, well, spirituality, Sun Tzu, how does it fit? But anyway, Sun Tzu, he said this amazing thing. He said, let your plans be as dark as the night and then strike like a lightning bolt. I love Sun Tzu, but I disagree with him on this because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said something else to his enemies and the enemies of Islam. He told them directly, what was going to happen to them and then he made it happen with the will of Allah and then he told them what happened to them so following his sunnah following his path here's what I'm going to do I'm going to tell Daniel exactly what my plan is and I'm going to execute the plan and while I'm executing the plan I will tell him this is my plan and you're falling into it and then once I've done it I'm going to tell him that I've done it so here's what I'm going to do. Here's my trap for him. I know he's listening and he must be very happy. I'm being charitable to him today and giving him some crumbs to nibble on. So I'm going to put him in a dilemma. This dilemma is where he's going to have to either attack Islam or he's going to have to attack the Chinese Communist Party's policies. The problem here is if you attack Islam, you're going to lose the Muslim audience that you're trying to win over through this debate, as you stated. Also, if you attack the Chinese Communist Party, well, certain things can happen to you. You don't want to end up in one of those vocational centers. You don't, you know, want your children to disappear. You don't want something to happen to your wife. And these things can happen if you turn against the Chinese Communist Party. So you definitely wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend you do that. And if that did happen, you'd be groveling to the Chinese consulate in um, uh, the, the Canadian consulate in China for help. And I would actually back you up. I would actually, uh, I, I don't hate you. I, I would actually try and get your family back because in essence, that's what these people do. 
Anyway, so you, I would highly recommend, Daniel, please do not attack the Chinese Communist Party. So your best route is simply to attack Islam. That will make you lose the audience of the Muslims, which is problematic. But there's another problem. And that other problem is that the Chinese Communist Party is trying to win over Islam and Muslims. So you being one of their main representatives in the English language, you are simply going to be in a very bad position because you're going to end up attacking Islam and the normative beliefs and values of Islam. And that will put you at odds with what they're trying to achieve. So it's actually quite tricky what you could actually do in this situation. You simply can't do much. You see, Daniel, I have freedom of navigation. I can move in any direction. I can actually go around the ring. I can dance like Muhammad Ali, Rahimullah. And you, my friend, are stuck in a corner with some red lines. Those red lines I've drawn for you, or rather I've pointed out are drawn for you by the Chinese Communist Party. And you'll be cornered and you won't be able to escape. Now, the solution I'm going to put forward, the arguments I'm going to put forward are watertight. And someone like you can't think on their feet anyway. So I feel charitable today. So I've given you this insight into my tactics and what I'm going to do. Hopefully, we will have a nice discussion which will remain on your channel for a while so that your bosses, so that your fans, so that your wamao and everybody can actually see what you're truly made of. I'm going to give you one last message. And this is a beautiful message from the Prophet of Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us to repel evil with good. And the Quran mentions this explicitly, to repel evil with good. So my advice to you is after the debate, after you're rattled, after you're shaken, after you are simply in this dilemma and you've exposed yourself, I ask you to think about this verse and to think about the consequences of your actions and to think about whether it was all worth it whether it was all worth it, all of these years of sucking up to the Chinese Communist Party and then to be humiliated on your own channel. So there you go, Daniel. There's my message to you, inshallah. Bismillah. Let's get it on.